What's up, guys? It's Taj here back with another video, and we are back with the only podcast that matters. Here with Jude, here with Jason, and today we're going to be discussing our top 10 players uh, in a as particular of, order. As of right now, it is currently as of March 11, 2022. Yes, March 11, 2022. Um, right, so we're going and over. And this is before the game slate that's about to happen. Yes. None, so of, none of the games have happened yet. None of the games have happened left, uh, happened yet. And. I mean, even if the games do go down tonight and something crazy happens, like, one game is not enough. I feel like it's not it enough. It kind of is, though. <laughs> it is. The, the, I mean, the people we, on this we, list are very close. They yeah, are all very close. Well, yeah, with our top three for sure. But, you know, outside of them, it's like, if, if you know. But, yeah. Our top ten mm-hmm. players, uh, we have gonna, we're going to go ahead and start it off with our honorable mentions. We pretty much yeah, have a lot of Yeah, people who the... just didn't make the list for reasons, you know. Yeah. All right, so for my honorable mentions... I have James Harden, Devin Booker, Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, and Chris Paul at 15. Yeah, same same thing for me here. I don't think Chris Paul makes the top 10 list. Uh, <laughs> Man. Yeah, my honorable mentions, I feel like I'm missing people, but I know for a fact I have Don on here, Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, and James Harden. Um, Ooh. Harden's valid. It's just, I don't know if he's... The, the top 10 players are so elite and so close, bro. I don't think Harden fits in there. Yeah, I think I think recently maybe Harden fits into that list. But, right. Uh, in I, terms I, I, of can't, the, I can't bump him in there right now. Right, right now, no. Right yeah. now, no. We can't do recency bias. There's a little bit of that in here, but at the same time, it's like this is the overall season so far because we're a month away from the season ending. So this is a pretty valid list, I feel like, for right now. True All right, um, you didn't say Chris Paul for your honorable mentions. So. I did not because he's in my motherfucking number 10. Bro, Chris Paul on that Suns team, like, if you watch the Suns play or you just know what Chris Paul is about, any team you go to, it makes it better. Every game, regardless of crazy stats or whatever you're seeing from the other guards, like, yep, definitely. his mm-hmm. 10 and 11 every night and his defense and his just court vision, his court IQ, Runs that team, bro. He just bro. always know what like, he just always knows what to do. One step That's ahead. My favorite player, favorite player his of all stats time. Don't show how good he is. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The box, the box score doesn't show how good he is. But I am cheating because it is very hard for me to like make lists in particular order. <laughs> so I have two spots that share. Number ten. We yeah, fuck with it. We I have with it. book and CP in the same spot. Oh, you, that's a hot one. Yeah, you can I argue don't, that I don't know. one's better than the other. Probably book with his skill level, but CP just what he does, regardless of box score, it matches mm-hmm. up to the level Definitely. of what book can do on the court. So I feel like they're Definitely. they're one of the same player, but they do a lot of different things. I, but I, I definitely feel like ever since Chris Paul's gotten hurt, point guard Devin Booker is is bro, nice. I don't I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if they're on the same level anymore. They're, yeah, they, it's close. But Booker is reaching more into that superstardom level than than Chris Paul is. Right. Chris Paul is like that solid point guard that can still give you buckets, but he's gonna take a backseat to the the next guy up, which is Book. So you could argue Book's ahead of him, but I have them in the same spot because it's so close. I like that. I definitely like that. Your number ten, that whole big dog. the Suns have work. Yeah, yeah really it's does. beautiful, beautiful system. Elite, I, best team in the NBA, literally, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, Ju, who do you have for your ten? Ten, I got Tatum. Ooh, I guess oh. this is showing a little bit recency bias, but what are they I wouldn't now? say the, so. Uh, the fifth seed. I wouldn't say it's recency bias though. It's been like the last three months they've been fucking hooping. Yeah, hooping. yeah, they've been on, they've been on fire. Just his scoring, his defense is good, his playmaking is good. Yeah, he's up in the playmaking up. He's definitely a two-way player. Yeah, KD had came out on a post-game interview and said he, he shoots like me and he, and he passes and he makes plays like LeBron. It's like he's crazy how he's yeah, evolving. Yeah, definitely a couple of years from now, definitely top five player. No doubt. Definitely, yeah. definitely. My number 10 is DeMar DeRozan. Some people may say this is kind of high for DeMar DeRozan, but I genuinely feel like every player in front of him is better. But DeMar DeRozan is an elite player. Shake, uh, taking that Bulls team to surprising, surprising feats. Number four seed right now. Uh, they yeah, were number one the, for number one for a large portion of the seed. season. Yeah, definitely, definitely a surprise team. I like DeMar DeRozan a lot. Definitely the best player on one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. But right into my number nine, I have Jason Tatum. And the reason why I have Jason Tatum above DeMar DeRozan is the simple fact, the playmaking. The playmaking is there. I feel like Tatum's also a better defender. And and this is arguable. I think Tatum's a better scorer all around. All around better scorer. It, I, feel I feel like, like it's, it's pretty close. You haven't seen DeMar DeRozan drop like 35 in like I know, but have you, seen, have you seen Tatum go for 50? 
Yeah, but I feel like Marta Rosen is just so efficient. I really hope these teams match up in the first round of the Eastern Conference. I really want to see it. Or down the road, if they both win their first round matchup, they match up. I would love to see that. I would definitely love to see that. Personally, though, I think Tatum would be the better, the best player in that series. Crazy, bro. Uh, yeah, my number nine, another cheat. I promise I have no more cheats on this entirety of my <laughs> list. Um, I have DeRozan and Tatum on the same oh. number nine <laughs> spot because. What Jason was just saying with the scoring, the defense, I agree with the defense. Tatum is a better defender. The playmaking, Tatum has improved. He's a better playmaker than DeMar. But um, DeMar's efficiency is crazy. Tatum's um, efficiency is good, too. It's just... He is inefficient. He's inefficient. I'll I'll say that. He's definitely... um, He's either going to give you a lot... Like, a lot of points, a lot of scoring, very productive, or it's going to be a down night, and you, you're probably going to lose. But recently, he hasn't done a lot of the down the down nights. He, he's been really yeah. fucking good. Right, it's, really, been, really it's, good. Been, it's been 30, 40, 50, 40, 30, like, every, like, he's been on a roll. But I, I have a lot of faith in that Bulls team. I don't know why. I just, what DeMar was able to do with, like, the past two, three months with all the injuries going on, carry that team like that and just drop 30 plus 35 plus or whatever it was he broke michael jordan's record as a bull for like the most 30 plus point games consecutively I will say, though, this has nothing to do with the players but the bulls team is not great against contenders the celtics team's really good against contenders and with matchups between great teams usually the superstar shines more and tatum is a player that shows up in those moments he he yeah, he, he loves up. he loves playing against the best teams in the league. He just goes fucking crazy. Yeah yeah, he That's, goes at everybody. He's 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 elite. But for me, it's 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 a toss up. You like I'd probably put Tatum above DeRozan, but I I can't I just can't count out DeRozan this season. He he was literally in MVP conversations for like a good month or two. And yeah, I mean he's had just a good season all the way around. Literally, but yeah. the Celtics have been on a roll and Tatum's elite. So I have him sharing a spot, but that's just me though. That's just me. All right, it, is, number nine? it is weird how they um they just lose so much against these top seven teams. So what are they? Like, yeah, that's that's teams? yeah, that's yeah, really very bad. That's very really bad it's really alarming. I hope. I mean, everyone says regular season is different from playoffs, but that's kind of alarming when you are only losing to the best teams. Like, who are you beating then if you're losing to I the mean, best teams? Yeah, they, you, know? you can you can get a top seed by just beating the teams you're supposed to beat. But right. You but, could argue that these these contending teams they're supposed to beat them too, but yeah. That is true, but we'll see come playoff time because a regular season is different from a, a set matchup for seven games if it goes to seven, that is. And I've seen Tatum go fucking crazy in the playoffs. I've yeah. seen him go crazy. Yeah, Tatum is, is ballistic, bro. And with the right roster, which they seem to have now, pretty good pretty good def- yeah, defensively, good they have. they have it. I, I, I said the other day that they remind me of, like, the Celtics are like the Eastern Conference Jazz in terms of great regular oh. season or good regular season, but when they get in the playoffs, they just flop. They don't have it. But I, that's it a, might that's be a bad take. No, they, no, no. They, no. They, oh, made the, they made the Eastern I mean, Conference Finals three in the last five years, bro. Yeah, that's true. But they don't like their roster turnover. They they can't every every year. It's a new big or a new just new people on their team. So it's it's hard for them to figure it out. You know, I'm not knocking them. They they have the experience, especially those they young play guys. Really good teams too. I mean, the Jazz. Yeah. Would they- they got knocked out by the Clippers without Kawhi. Right. So like, yeah. that's you know, Celtics could could make some noise this year. I feel like they'll they'll go deeper. But my 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 I don't know what it is, but like the Bulls, bro, like they're they're gonna surprise people. But yeah, that's it for my number nine. I'm rambling on. Uh, for my number nine, I have uh, John Morant. There's okay. not too much to say about John Morant. He's just he he's, does his thing. Yeah. He's, <laughs> There's not too much to say. All right. <laughs> he's been on another level, I mean, truthfully. It, he just, yeah, he's on another level of athleticism okay. and what he just does what he wants no matter what. And they surprised me as a third seed. Yeah, that. I'm pretty sure me I and think... Taj have him at number eight, right? We do? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, so we we'll, do. we'll talk about not a lot to say about John Morant, okay? All right, go on. But, but who's your number eight? My number eight? Mm-hmm. DeMar DeRozan. Okay. Okay, okay. I like that. Do you want to like get into that or do we, do we speak enough? Um... For DeMar DeRozan at eight, it's just the amount of scoring and how efficient he has been is something that not many players in the league can do. And the fact that they've been a first seed most of the the year. Uh, when was the last time you've seen a player drop 35 like a month in a row? James Harden. James Harden. That. James Harden, <laughs> but 
Yeah, DeMar DeRozan. James Harden's good, though. Right. I mean, DeRozan's good. It's just no one expected it. He's been on the Spurs for a couple, the past couple yeah. seasons, and yeah, people... They, they were saying, worst signing the offseason ever. Yeah, it's, like, wow. just the most yeah, crazy shit. Like, DeRozan's not him, I would bro. say, it's definitely a fun him, team. Definitely when you watch DeMar DeRozan, you just don't see him miss. Okay. He's so efficient. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. All right, Taj. Let's 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 talk about the person you said that he doesn't need to be talked about. Ja, ja, ja fucking Morant. Ja Morant. Uh, to what's his name? Demetrius, Jamel, whatever, bro. He is the most exciting player, player to watch. Player in the NBA. Period. Like. Period. Every time there's a Memphis game, like I remember the game we dropped 50 on the Spurs. I, I wasn't gonna watch it because like it, the Memphis is gonna win. It's gonna be another either dub for the Grizzlies. But I, I'm watching it every time down the floor. He's scoring. He's assisting. He's ha he's having a highlight play. That was yeah. That was the game where he hit. He had the poster over um yeah, he's over just, uh, walking highlight. Literally That's a walking highlight reel, bro. Is. It's like man, and it's his rise to superstardom Definitely. over yeah, the past man. couple of seasons. It's beautiful. Is insane. It's very yeah, beautiful. Literally. Very beautiful. I, you gotta love it. John Morant is the embodiment of what Derrick Rose could be. Who knows? If Derrick Rose never gets hurt, he might be what John Morant is right now. Hell yeah, I, I like that comparison, and I and I'd say Ja is better than D Rose at this yeah, point in his career. Yeah, I'd say Ja is definitely he, he's a he, he's developing his shot a lot more. He's definitely he keeps the defense honest with it, but he's more of a slasher. You love his slashing, yeah, his playmaking bro. ability. That that whole Grizzlies team is just so surprising, and, and it's great. It's great to see right. a little bit yeah. of a, a Cinderella Young story. Young and energetic. Yeah, I, I, I fuck with Memphis a lot. But would you like to get into your seven, or would you like me to get into that? Yeah, you can hit your number yeah, seven, and I'll got it. I think me and yeah, okay. Yeah, we, my I number have, seven is Stephen Curry. Yeah, I have a, Curry without a doubt started the season off as. The undebatable MVP. Mm -hmm. He had yeah. a little bit of a slip, a little bit of a slump, uh, and injuries with the team. Draymond went down. Clay coming back into the system. A lot to, you know, work around. But I, they, they still held up. They still held up. Most Third definitely. seed in the Western Conference right now. Stephen Curry. Yeah, I don't I mean, think he's missed. A, he, he's missed a little bit of a beat. But nights when he needs to give it to you, he gives it to you. He definitely does. I think Stephen Curry is an underrated rebounder in the NBA. Definitely good rebounder. Yeah, he's and, one of the best rebounding guard. guards, truthfully. Yeah. 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 And and just his whole, and his gravity just makes the team it works it just yeah. works he's, it's so he's hard scary to guard he's scary Curry. with the ball and without the ball like there's not a lot of players that like can just have he's, that much he's a player that makes everybody's life easier on the court literally That's just by good. moving Definitely. like but crazy. then he has nights where he shoots tour dates yeah so, but you can yeah, argue though on those on those date on those tour dates. He's still impacting the game by just being on the yeah, court. Yeah, he's obviously impacting. Cause yeah, because regardless, Curry, yeah, regardless of what Curry's shooting, players are still going to guard him, regardless of his shooting yeah, percentage regardless. on the court. Yeah, I, who's, I like who's that. Who's your number seven, Tosh? My number seven is LeBron. Uh, Ooh. Regardless of the Lakers' woes this season, like I'm making this people list. People aren't going to like that. Yeah, people, people probably aren't, aren't going like to like that. that. But this season, like it's so close, and there's so many more elite guys than LeBron. I'm not saying that they're like ways ahead better than him but this season and we're talking this season specifically lebron has played good and he's been carrying that lakers team the best of his ability without having ad on the floor a lot of time and then with russ struggling to find his place on that team uh lebron's been playing really good but the players i have above him i feel like are valid this season you know i don't want any people to get upset with me for putting lebron this i guess low in some people's eyes but i feel like this is perfect for lebron on this list because the people I have in front of him I, I, i'd say he's, he's been better than curry this season though i i think so yeah yeah, yeah it, it, it could go either way curry. it could go either way it's just with lebron it could be his defense his just lack of energy if you want to call it that it's just him giving he, up he is in year 19 though He's yeah, in year he's 19. In year 19. He's, he's, he he's, really. he's been doing that thing, though, like where he will just get upset and not run back on defense for the past couple of years now. And I'm not saying that doesn't make him great or he doesn't deserve to be higher on my list because of that. It's just LeBron's always had that with him, like the not running back on defense sometimes or yeah, definitely, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, definitely over dramatic so, so player. Weak mentality. Yeah. yeah. It gives me, gives me the, the, the James Harden treatment, kind of. Just giving up. Just giving up. Yeah. On a play or something. Yeah. I've, never, I've never liked that. No, yeah. choose your number six. Is it is it Stephen Curry? Wait, did you hit his number seven? Uh, his yeah, number I seven was that. mine, Steph Curry. Oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah, I have at number six. I actually have Curry uh, ahead okay. of, you know, LeBron, Ja, DeRozan, and yeah, I feel like that's that's pretty valid. I mean, like you guys said, you know, his off ball movement, his gravity, just his is like his ability on the floor to like avert everyone's eyes to him, like with or without the ball, is just insane. 
yeah, the slump he had kind of slightly knocked him out of the MVP race, but um, I mean, it's still Stephen fucking Curry, bro. Literally a top three point guard. Like he's he's him, bro. Curry's. Still... I, I'd say he's definitely the number one point guard in the NBA. Really? Okay, well, got you. Ooh, well, ooh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I, I take that yeah, yeah, yeah. I take yeah. that one back. It, it's close. No, but um, my my number my number six, uh, LeBron James, obviously. You could argue, people argue, top top two player of all time, regardless of where you have him. You got to respect this man. Right. Playing, he's scoring the ball at a ridiculous clip, shooting that three ball from so deep. He's elevate. He's definitely evolved his game over the years, and you could see that. He he's he's playing more of a this generation type of basketball, and you would expect somebody who's getting older and older to not evolve and more like just fizzle out of the league. But he's he's not. He's not. He's continuously playing great basketball, regardless yeah, of the Lakers not. Regardless of the Lakers not being a great team this season, he he's been very good this season. Hell yeah! All right, I'll move on. Uh, number six, I have Luca. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I'm debating this with LeBron and Luca because yeah, it's, I'd say it's, it's close. Opinion. Yeah, it's very close. But I mean, Luca's just like a walking stat. It's just, <laughs> it's just 30, 10, and 15. Yeah, like every, casually. Every other night. Literally, yeah. And it's just you're used to it because he just does it so much. Definitely, Definitely has a case to become the, be- like the greatest in, player of all time. Yeah. An all-time IQ in basketball. Most definitely one of the best guards in the league for sure. Yeah. Who do you have at six? Uh, oh, yeah, we just did our sixes, right? We just did our six. So yeah, number so five. Number five. Number five for me, I have Doncic. Yeah, this Doncic, yeah, Curry, same, LeBron, same like, ranking, I feel like it's... And that is what I was meaning when I said Curry is not the best point guard in the NBA. Right. I think Luka Doncic, right now, I think he is definitely better than Stephen Curry. Luka is just, with with the team that's, like, he actually, it looks like his team is cooperating now. It looks like they want to play basketball. It looks like they're going to be able to support him in the playoffs. Him with Brunson looks like a great backcourt, and Luca's been playing a little bit of defense now, and that's scary. Definitely, Luka definitely. playing defense is scary. Because that's Luka only playing defense is scary. That's, that's a lot of the thing that people were criticizing him for was the defense, because they couldn't say any shit else about him. He's scoring, he's assisting, he's rebounding, he's he's literally yeah. he's literally the orchestrator of everything that happens he's on the, the court. Offense. Literally he's the, the offense. offense. So it's crazy he could do all this without having athleticism. Yeah, because he uses more of a change of speed and brain cells, IQ to to get to the yeah. cup and to score. And, you know, he's been shooting the three ball a lot better recently, and that's one of his biggest flaws is shooting the three ball pretty inefficiently. And now that he is, he's shooting it good, they're, they're on a roll right now. What, what are they, number, number two or number one defense in the league? Something like that, right? I think the Suns are number one. No, I'm pretty sure but... the Celtics are one or the, the Mavericks. Right. I don't know, which whatever one. Definitely top three defense in the league for, as of right now. Well, I think I don't have him number five is – because he wasn't playing like this all season. He was in a bit of a slump until the All-Star game. So I think and you bump him over LeBron because a team success. I think that's what that's the that's what really pushes him. Yeah, team it for success me. is what can push it, but because they have been very good recently. They're very good. Lakers have not been great. Of course, they're missing a couple pieces, but I think Luka Luka doesn't even have that much. He doesn't really have that much. They're just playing their roles really well and they're consistently winning. So that's why I have Luka above LeBron at five. All right, so for my number five, I have LeBron. Honestly, this could go either way with Luka. It could be just preference. Yeah, true. But I think LeBron has been playing great all season while Luka oh. did have a, a Lu- slump. He, he, Luka, Lu- Luka was injured, too. LeBron has yeah, been, been playing good all season. Good all LeBron season. has not had a down LeBron has not had a down game or a he down that, sequence. He, had that, he, had that, he, he that, got hurt that, a couple that, games. He got suspended yeah, a game. I mean, yeah, he's been hurt, but, but I mean, it's all around he's been dropping 30 every game at what, year 19? Was he 38? 37? Yeah, 37. That's ballistic, bro. Like, I could see why you wouldn't want to put him in his top five for his Problem. Yeah, like I, I'd say team success, team success definitely is a factor in that one for me. I don't see how he's contributing to team success right now. Who, I mean, uh, LeBron? LeBron. Yeah, I just LeBron is a team success. It's just to his team, but you can't really blame him either. I mean, like, he he won that game against the Warriors. He won it. He won it. Yeah, yeah like that three. Yeah, fifty-six. Yeah. 
He, he didn't yeah, have 56 in the, in, the, in the playing game, but yeah, he was balling. No, 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 no. The, the, oh, you mean in the game the against the Warriors? Ago. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. 56 was ballistic against a, a healthy Warriors team is insanity. Healthy? They don't have Draymond. They don't have Draymond. Oh, my God. That, that's literally yeah. what you say every time. Yeah, you say, that they is. They don't have Draymond. That is, but. Yeah, it's crazy how much Draymond contributes to a team while putting up, like, 7-7. Seven and seven. Yeah, he's like. It's he, like the Chris Paul thing. He's literally like an unsung yeah. hero. Same thing with Chris Paul. Like you said, yeah, unsung hero. They do all the dirty work. They do all the things that get your team to the position they need to be, but it's not talked about because of box score. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're, so, we're rambling. Uh, let, let's get to our number four. This is the good stuff. Number, number four, four. I could probably, for all of us, just outside the top three, top three is definitely. The, the, all three of the same players for all of us. Kevin Number four, Durant. Kevin Durant. Kevin fucking Durant. Kevin Durant. Regardless of the Nets woes, he has been... I mean... He's been carrying that team. He's probably not in the top three because he was injured a lot of this season. Yeah, he was yeah, injured that's, for a that's a reason why I almost didn't have him on the list. But mm -hmm. after watching what he did last night and the night before that, uh, a couple nights before that, yeah, he, he's definitely he's definitely up there. Yeah, he's yeah. Definitely top one player. Just, you can't name one player ever that can do what he does at his height. Yeah. Uh, off of He's off of injuries, yeah, but I, I, yeah. You could say Tatum is close to that, but Tatum's only six eight though. So yeah, so yeah, yeah I, I feel like LeBron's, what six nine too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, LeBron six nine. But like they're two completely different players, also. I'd True. say Tatum plays a lot like Kevin Durant. Yeah, they're both bucket getters. Well, yeah, I was talking about Kevin Durant to LeBron. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Le LeBron's more of a get everybody involved, and Katie's more of a just. Katie's like just give get you ball. buckets. Yeah, give split like 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 he's a walking split guy. Like what was you talking about? I would about? say though, I I'm I might be called a little bit of a Kevin Durant hater, but I feel like you don't feel that shit. You really when Kevin Durant sco scores all those points, you don't really feel it. Like for example, what, they like, don't have value. No, he of course his points have value. Of course, games that he goes and performs, they win. But it's just like you don't. I don't know how to explain it. Like, for yeah, like, it's so a good, like, you just don't notice yeah, it. Yeah, you don't really feel it. Like, you just look at the scoreboard. Oh shit, he has thirty. Like, you don't really feel it. You don't feel that shit. Yeah, he does it so effortless. Yeah, with yeah. KD, it's like it goes by in a blur. You're so used to it. It's like, oh, oh yeah, he has he has thirty five, thirty six, thirty thirty eight again. I mean, that's and it's like, like our top three also. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say so. You. Well, all right. well, well let's get let, let's get to number three. Number three for who? For 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 Jude. Let's do your number three first. I have Embiid. Don't we all? I have I have Embiid at three too. Yeah, I mean. I don't think Taj does. Taj does not have Embiid at three. Yeah, I have Giannis at three for me. Wow. So. Okay. Wow. I mean, it's one spot. It's one spot. Whatever. Go ahead. Uh, so, Embiid. I have number three. You could argue he's better than Jokic. It, it's honestly how you look at it. And B drops like forty every game. Yeah, it's just preference. Yeah, it really just is. Preference. But like I was saying, uh, I was gonna compare this, but I didn't want to jump ahead. You feel Embiid's fucking points. You feel them shits. You mm -hmm. feel them, and it's because he's such an unstoppable force. You have to foul him. So majority of the game is prolonged because this dude is getting thirty free throws, and he's probably one of the best big men free throw shooters in the NBA. Top two, right? Is. Definitely. Or is he the best? I. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know the percentages, but I feel like him and Jokic are like the top of that center yeah, okay. list yeah, for but, sure. But I think volume, volume comes into account mm -hmm. for that because Jokic doesn't get it as as many fouls. Yeah, Jokic. Foul Jokic is MVP. nifty. He does a lot of spins and like he gets around defenders and lays them like as slow yeah, as he Jokic is. Jokic just fucks you up, and Bead will just hurt you. And he's he, gonna fucking hurt. Embiid, Embiid's just gonna body your shit. He's gonna he's gonna get to the line. He's gonna do it. And he like. Just gonna shoot over you. Yeah, he's yeah. a big dog. Embiid, don't, don't get me wrong, Embiid is a great playmaker. I just don't think he's up to the level of the, the next two guys in front of him. And he, he's a great shooter. Embiid's a really good shooter. Definitely a great mid-range shooter. Yeah, and, it's crazy what he could do for his height and weight. Yeah. Yeah, and, and what they were doing without the additions of James Harden, Philadelphia was still keeping a flow. They were playing great basketball. So And that comes down to Joel Embiid. Embiid, you got to give it to him. Definitely a top three player in the in the league right now. Probably the MVP at the end of the season. Right. That's yeah. With Embiid, it's like uh, I mean, I'm not gonna hop ahead ahead and say what what I have just yet. I don't know if I'm up or not. Was you next? No, or? you have to do your three. Your have three you because we have Embiid. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'll get to the Embiid stuff me. later when we when we when I get to where I have him on here. But yeah, Giannis at three. Uh, like like we discussed before the pod, there's literally no wrong answer. MVP changes every night, but also you can factor in personal preference, um, what you value more in a player on a team. And when you really look at things, Giannis is a great. Giannis is literally great. He's amazing. 
Uh, yeah. lead, lead in the league in PR, like you said, right, Jude? So he's just on yeah. a level. I mean, like, and another thing about Giannis is he tries so much harder than every other player on the court. I swear, every time I watch him, it's like he's Puzzled. going. Yeah. He's running 90 he's running feet for chase down speed, blocks. Yeah. The blocks, the, the no dunks. There's no other player ever the, that does that. Like, Giannis's yeah. energy is unmatched, but yeah. It's crazy that the top three are three big men. That's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I've crazy. seen that in, in forever. Years. Yeah, Man, like, you could consider top four. I mean, Katie's a big man, right? He's like seven feet. He, he's a he's big person, foot, but he's, he's, a, he's, he's a, a small big, forward. He's a big. He, he's, a, he's a power forward. He's a power forward. He's a power forward. Yeah, like, he's, a, he's a big. He's a big. But uh, yeah, yeah definitely that's... not as big as the top three. But he's a big. He's right. A big. Yeah, that's my three. Uh, who, who's next? Sure. All the right. Uh, well, uh, me, I have Giannis at number two, and just like you said, Giannis is a fucking monster, Greek freak, earned right. the nickname, crazy, playing crazy this fucking season. People just overlook it. He's in Milwaukee. They don't get much coverage. But believe me, he it wouldn't surprise me if this dude wins the MVP again. That'd be his third, third in his career already. Yeah. And he's what like is he? 26, 27, 27, 28? Like, 27. Jeez, man. Incredible on both sides of the floor. He might win Defensive Player of the Year. He's in the running for two votes and might win the championship. Yeah, so, like... This but, dude is definitely an impact fucking player. This dude should be should be no lower than top three. And my number two is my my one of my favorite players, Jokic. Um, like the same thing with the Giannis, you know, the PR, the his efficiency rating on the floor, uh, just it's everything he does. Like again, with like in comparison to Luca, he is that offense. He's the orchestrator mm -hmm. of everything that goes on in that court. As soon as he steps I off love the that floor, comparison. I love that. Yeah, I love as, that as comparison. soon as he steps off the floor, same with Luca. That team, they they figure it out, but you can see the difference, obviously. No, without I, the I, I'd, the say, court. I'd say it's different because the Mavericks definitely have a way better team than than the Nuggets. Do you think role player wise, yeah, have, like? The, yes, I, I definitely have, think like, so. They have sneaky. They have player. sneaky good role players. Yeah, like, so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you on that. Now, Dinwiddie? Uh, yeah, Dinwiddie's been playing crazy ever since they, they made have, that trade. Yeah, they have Dinwiddie, Bertans, Maxi Kleber. They have Jaylen a lot of good guys. Brunson, yeah, like, but I would, Brunson, I, I would Del argue. Finney Smith. I would argue as a Nuggets fan, after, and watching them closely, like, like, just hear me out. Monte Morris, Will Barton. Uh, Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, MPJ, Bones Highland. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty close. Uh, personally, based on my personal preference, I'd say the Nuggets have a better, like, role-playing cast. But at the same time, when Luka Aaron is going... Aaron really good for them. Yeah, he really is. And people hated that they paid him so much. But defensively, he's a great finisher. He's improved his three-point shot. He's not a... I wouldn't say he's a superstar, but he's a good guy to plug into that system. And when you have MPJ and Jamal back, a fully, fully healthy team, that see, is a... See, you saying the Nuggets have better role players, it, it, we, we, haven't, we haven't seen the Nuggets role players without Jokic win a game. Yeah. We've seen the Mavericks without Luka win games. Yeah, him, yeah, mean, yeah Brunson yeah. and Dinwiddie and, like, oh, the rest of the guys, they Dinwiddie step up. Dinwiddie wasn't on the team yet. Yeah, Dinwiddie, he wasn't on the Dinwiddie team. Wasn't even on the team. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just talking about his late. But they were going crazy without yeah, Luka. Yeah, pre-Dinwiddie, when Luka went down with the injury, they were still staying afloat. So there's there, there's an argument to be had there that the yeah, role players I, on the I'd Mavericks are better. I definitely say the Nuggets are a worse team without, without Jokic, Jokic than, yeah. Than the, yeah. Than I feel you, I feel you. Right now, if they're healthy, they are, but... Yeah, not that right in health. Now, right, right, right. All right, who's your number two? I have Jokic at two. Oh, I mean, yes, basically sir. what Tosh said. All right, PR well, is crazy. The way he just carries the team. Home straight offense, like he, like the Nuggets are him. Yeah, yeah. and, and that's that's talent and IQ. That's why I have him at number one. Nikola Jokic, right now, the date, March eleventh, twenty twenty two, is the best player in the NBA. And the sheer, the, the only reason for this is because he is the offense. He is the Denver Nuggets. He keeps this team alive. Without him, this team is the worst team in the NBA. And that's a stat. That's literally a stat. Yeah. He's, they're the worst team in the NBA. He has arguably the best passing in the NBA. Arguably the best playmaking from a big man we've ever seen. No, it's definitely the best passing big of all time. He shoot the ball. He's a back to the basket big. He will fuck you up in the post. And his impact is just unmeasurable. Jokic is playing defense this season. Uh, he's he has three game winning blocks this season. Yeah. He has three game winning blocks. He's turned it up on the defensive side of the ball. Again, another guy wouldn't surprise me if he wins MVP. But that that that's probably voting. You know, voters fatigue. Yeah. Won it last year. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the best player for MVP right now is Embiid. 
no yeah no I definitely would Most say definitely. Embiid is the MVP and that yeah, that, the, yeah. Crowd, the, the fans love him they love him they love him they love him no I'm not saying they don't love Jokic but there is a stat that Denver Nuggets games are the lowest watched games in in the NBA yeah and they make you pay for them that yeah they make you the people that live in Denver they have to pay for it that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy I mean, that's why you get league pass? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That that's. That's why you get streamies. No, don't, about? don't, don't plug streamies because then they're gonna find out that that's our plug. Anyway, that's why I haven't beat one. Um, what every what Jason just said, everything about Jokic is so correct. And I'm looking at my list and I'm reevaluating, but I think I'm gonna stick with Embiid being number one for me. Um, yeah, it's potato potato. They're 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 all three of them are inter- inter- right. interchangeable. Like if any Definitely, one of those yeah. three won the MVP, people are gonna argue, but. I feel like whoever wins out of the top three of them is validated. Literally, is validated. Yeah, whoever definitely. wins, maybe even yeah. top four, top five. I wouldn't be surprised. Luca wins it. Yeah, you could like yeah. There's still a good bit of the season left, so anything could happen. People can take a jump, but as of right now, the the top three guys are those three guys. So yeah, who's I don't your think number one? That's even arguable for me. I have Giannis. I mean, when you look at Giannis from last season to this season, he looks like a completely different player from his. His shooting, his playmaking, his mm-hmm. fourth quarter offense. He's leading the, the league with like 10 points in the fourth quarter with all time PR, PER. Mm-hmm. The, the Bucks are a second seed while playing the best defense in the league. And, and there's not a player that you can compare his intangibles to with his hustle, his just will to play no matter what. There's no one that can do it like him. Yeah, Giannis is, mm-hmm. his, his physicality yeah, is unmatched. I, I'd say it's definitely up to preference. For me, I prefer the elite playmaking rather than the elite defense. I, I prefer it. Yeah, and, and with me, could depend team to team though. Yeah, and, it and, could, it yeah. could, but but the modern NBA is more of a offensive catered league, and Jokic isn't a bad defender. So I, I just prefer the elite playmaking. I prefer it. Definitely prefer. It's it. understandable. Yeah, and, and with Embiid, uh, and this is and this was pre the pre the Harden trade. I always had a number one as MVP. He he's been healthy this season, which is so important. Because last year he would have won. Last year that was his award. Yeah, that last year it literally was his award. award. But at the same time, I feel like Jokic last season was better than Embiid even before the injury. But that's just my personal preference. But this season, I can without a shadow of a doubt say, Joel Embiid will win the MVP trophy. It, granted, if well, he doesn't, that, granted like if he Jokic is having a better season than last year. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can I say think that. Jokic is better than Embiid this year, bro. Yeah, it's just it's just crazy. I think it's that defensive jump, bro. That defensive jump to put him over the top. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't top. even think anyone's raving about his defense. It's just the people that actually watch the games that talk about it, yeah, like like bro. you are now. But I love Jokic. But like watching and beat this season, regardless of what people it's, have to say about it's definitely a breath, a breath of fresh air to see a center play defense. Because I'm a Rockets fan and Chris, Christian Wood. Christian Wood is tough. <laughs> I think it's cool to see a center is the best player in the league, though. Yeah. The, the top three players are basically centers. Yeah, like yeah. six, we eleven, seven, a, seven foot plus it's guys. Just been guards just, and LeBron. Yeah. And and KD. Yeah, yeah KD had the trophy. Yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, that's our list. Um, I feel like it was pretty valid all around, all the way from the the mentions, honorable mentions to ten to one. Um, Taj, uh, you said your honorable mentions, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure we all have the same ones. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, Donovan. You had, you had Chris Paul and Devin Booker on your list. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like Donovan none Mitchell, of us James had Harden, Trey Young. Mm. None of us had out like outlandish takes. I really want to think about this though. Are we forgetting anyone from the honorable mentions list? Because I know our our um, list. I don't think so. I think that's definitely. Yeah, in terms of people, people on like good. I mean, you could say like Darius Garland. You could say that, but I don't think they're in the same realm of, of yeah. Like, yeah, he's not near like Devin Booker or Trey Young. Right, he's great for that mm, team. I think you could argue that he's near Trey Young. I think you could definitely argue uh, that. Trey Young puts up like what twenties. But Trey Young has the ball in his hands twenty four seven, twenty four seven, and his team is worse. Does Jokic? Jokic doesn't have the ball twenty four seven. Well, who yep. handles the ball? <laughs> I mean, well, he does, but it's 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 different. It's different than Trey Young. Trey Young is a pick and roll. Throw the lot every time. Pick and this roll. Is another floater. thing. Let me say this about Giannis. Giannis does not need the ball to be effective. He could be a, a screen setter, defender, and have 27 a game no matter what. You can what. say that, bro. All three of them are big men, bro. <laughs> all three of them are big. All three of them set screens and roll. All three of them do that. 
Yeah, but I mean, I'd Yoke, say it's, I mean, I'd say that Giannis is the best finisher out of all of them on a screen and roll. But I definitely look like the Jokic. You pass it to him off of a handoff. He's dotting the corner. He's the guy's wide open. That's a three. Yeah. The playmaking of Jokic is just. He's he come on. He's the best playmaking center of all time. Yeah. It's not even close. Without it's a not doubt. Close. Yeah. Without a doubt. It's not close. Probably like the best talent. All around talent. I mean. I wouldn't say he's the best, but talent, sure. Mm. Yeah, Jokic's like literally he, say Hakeem. Yeah, he definitely reminds me of Hakeem if Hakeem's playmaking was on another level. Definitely. Yeah. Hakeem is more Embiid with footwork and his paint. Yeah, and yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, I should have said that. Hakeem's more like Embiid. Yeah, but you know, just list. Everybody has a different opinion. Everybody. Yeah, no you know, one's... Everybody likes what they like, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody prefer. Some people do prefer defense over the elite playmaking, and I don't blame them. Obviously, defense wins championships, but you know, Jokic, I just feel like it, the gap between their playmakings and their defense is it's more for the playmaking. That's that's just how I feel. Yeah, I feel you on that, and I agree with Jude's point with the defense too. So, yeah, I'm I'm really excited this year going into the playoffs and just seeing what players can really yeah, show man, out and who does win. MVP, yeah, it's pretty close this year. I, I'm I hoping like. for any other player winning I'm MVP. I'm hoping for no sweeps in the first round for the Eastern Conference. I really hope. Yeah, because it's sweeps. so closely contested that I really want to see some matchups like go down to the wire, bro. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really cool to see these. With the West, I can. I, the West, I really can't see a sweep either. I really can't. I uh, think the Clippers take a game off of most of the teams in the, the Western Conference. If they make the playoffs, that is. I don't they, think. Oh, I don't, yeah, think, I don't they think they make it out of the play game. Yeah. You really don't think the Clippers make it they out of the play? They have a chance, but it's not the as... the Lakers make the play in? Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, the Lakers make the play in because the people ahead of them, it. I don't know if they win it. So, so l listen. So, the Clippers, let's say they lose to the Timberwolves. Mm -hmm. Do they lose to the Lakers or the Pelicans? Do the Clippers lose to the Lakers or the Pelicans? Yeah. Mm. The Lakers, I bro. Think, I think... I think from watching the Clippers play without their two stars, they're definitely a good team. They're definitely a really good team. For sure. Reggie Jackson's they taking a huge great. lead. They They'll have Powell then. They have they traded for Roko. They have Zubak showing out. PG Morris. will be back by then, right? If, yeah, if so they, definitely, definitely. Oh, they if they play him, yeah. if they play him, they were talking about sitting for the rest of the season. I don't know if that's official, but that he hasn't. I think it's more likely that the Clippers get the seven seed. I think they could beat the Timberwolves yeah. in the first game. I feel I, you. They can get the seven seed. And if they get the seven seed, they play the Grizzlies. They take that's two games. They take two that's games. A I feel like the Clippers take two games for sure. Clippers are yeah, that's a series. Yeah, Clippers are not to be fucked with. They don't have the star power, but that's what makes them so like good and underrated because they're well. They're, I think yeah, I like teams like that. They don't have star power. Like like good. the Grizzlies last year. Like granted, Jaws the star player, but he wasn't I think who that's he is more today. Of like top teams just playing down to their their competition. Mm -hmm. Like the Lakers do this a lot. The yeah. Lakers play down the competition a lot. Lot, I, think, I think the Clippers aren't that type of team. They're going to beat the people they're supposed to beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people they're not supposed to beat because, you know, they have they have decent talent all around. As soon as they get back, the, their two guys, that's a scary team. Definitely yeah, that's, a scary yeah, team. Very, very scary team for sure, bro. Like, the Clippers are a team to look out for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but looking at it now, I don't think there's a sweep in the, in the first round of the playoffs for either side of the bracket. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. How I mean... It is. You could say if if uh, if one of the playing teams goes up against that first or second seed in either conference, they could get smacked. Do you think? So I don't. Oh. Yeah. What what team could you see getting smacked by a Bucks or a Philly team or a Denver? Uh, the, the, uh, it's, not it's, Denver, but it's uh, Miami. It's Miami and Milwaukee right now. Miami, Miami and Milwaukee, and then like the Suns and. Okay, look, I think the Raptors and and the Bucks are a good. Is they're a good matchup. I like that. I like the, the uh, Raptors. I feel the Bucks like the Raptors only take one game from them, but it's not a sweep uh, yeah, like you said. Two. Like, one yeah, or yeah. two, because I they just play they play team basketball. I think they're really good, definitely mm -hmm. a really good team, and they 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 kind of already figured Giannis out before. So you don't think they could try to do it again? Maybe yeah, muster out team. one or two. Yeah, they don't have Kawhi, and but they still have the same player. They, but they but they like still have great style. talent across the board. They still have the same wings that they had, not including Kawhi. Most so they, yeah, they could definitely do something like they could take two two games away from Milwaukee. Not win the series, but yeah, but I don't think they shut games. down Giannis. I don't think the, I don't think any team shuts down Giannis. I don't, I don't think don't. any team can do that again. Maybe the Heat. Mm. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's he's uh, learned how to play through it. He's got shooters. 
Yeah, it's it's definitely a toss but, up for see, sure. Like like it seemed like the Hornets is questionable. I don't know if the Hornets they have take a game. Uh, they were playing so good early in the season they just they just started to lose it and now they're like thirty two yeah, and thirty four. Hayward, Hayward went down and they haven't been playing I, see, the best. For example, like the Hawks, I don't think the Hawks can get swept. I don't think the Hawks can get swept. I don't think I don't think Trey Young, Trey Young it might be an annoying player. He might be on the honorable mentions list, but he impacts a fucking series. Oh yeah. He's, he impacts a fucking series. Yeah. Oh yeah. Trey Young, I don't think Trey Young allows himself to get swept. I don't. I don't. I don't. I just don't. He see might that. not, but his personnel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he has a good so team good around him. They have a good team around him. I. I, I don't. Maybe Very they're just. Young. Maybe yeah. they're just playing bad. Yeah, it's because of injuries a lot too. Like you know, they traded Reddish. Uh, DeAndre Hunter was out for a while. I'm pretty sure I mean, the Pella missed some that, games with COVID. Only three games out from the eight seed. Yeah, like I feel like we're just I feel like people are over exaggerating the Hawks record and they might make some noise, but it's to be determined. I had the I had way higher expectations for them. I had them at like a fifth. Definitely, seven. definitely, and and no one can. From what I saw last year in the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's honestly definitely, yeah. definitely some great matchups. Them um, and the Bulls surprised me this season. Oh, and Cleveland, definitely Cleveland. Definitely oh, yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland. I, I didn't even think of that. Cleveland definitely surprising team. They should add two All Stars. Oh, they do. They do. They now, do. Right? They, yeah, they did. but they did. it was a replacement. But Jared should have made it over somebody. You know Chris what Middleton. I mean? Jared should have made it over Chris. Chris Middleton. Middleton he, I'm pretty sure he was injured, and he's a good player. But All Star caliber this season? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. He missed a lot Not of games. This. I think he only made it because. I I'd say Drew Holiday, Holiday deserved him more over Chris Middleton this uh, season. Uh, Drew. Mm, I say so. Holiday has had a very good season. He's, but, he's very efficient. For sure. Just as good as defense. He's shooting like 43% from three. But that's but, not the question. Did, 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 did he deserve it more than Chris Middleton? No, nah, Chris Middleton, regardless yeah, of injury, I feel like Chris Middleton is still playing better with Drew than Drew Holiday. You know? ah, Drew is super impactful, but like that. it's politics, bro. Same thing with the MVP voting politics. and the awards. It's not. It's people not people make it off of bullshit. Because because you either get you get Michael Jordan or you get fucking Sam Bowie with fucking Chris Middleton. Mm. You, it, it's it's nothing in the middle. It's either Michael Jordan yeah, or that's Sam with Bowie. Drew Holiday too. Yeah, but Drew makes up for it because he impacts the game different ways. He's a point guard. He's a point guard. Yeah, it Middleton, is. Middleton, if he's having an off night, if Middleton, if Middleton's on a, has an off night, what is he doing? Cardio? Yeah, he's just shooting. But Drew will lock up your best player. Like when the Bucks played the uh, the Bulls a couple weeks ago, we didn't have Drew on Demar Derozan for the entire first three quarters. He had like 30 points. We put Drew on him in the fourth. He shot like one for eight. It's just mm. it's crazy how he can play defense. All right, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little after show. Yeah, we yeah. we we do tend to ramble on, but it's it's good with basketball because there's just so much you can talk about. You know, matchups, players, expectations, predictions, just just our, our overall thoughts. You know, that's why I love basketball. It's such an entertaining sport. Like all sports, but not not necessarily like all sports. Not Basketball, all sports. Not, not golf, not golf. Okay, <laughs> fuck golf. That's what I, okay, you know, but no, nah, basketball is it's just it's just different, man. The energy the sport brings while watching it and playing it too. It's just it's so so much fun. But yeah, that wraps up our list, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know your top ten or your top three or who you think is going to win MVP. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. We just recently hit 300 subs on the channel, which is fucking crazy to think 307. about. 307. But yeah, we're at 3, right 307 right now. It's crazy. And I'm just super supportive of everyone that's shown support. And I've had my friends, you know, Jason, Logan, Jude, um, Zaire on the podcast so far. And uh, like I said in previous podcast videos, we're going to have a lot more dropping um, over time. You know, there's so much you can talk about with basketball, wrestling, or just anything else that we can talk about. So Endless discussions. Endless basketball. discussions, literally. So... Definitely keep coming back for more. Like I said, appreciate all the support. Thankful for all my friends coming out here and just talking it up, chatting it up with me. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, catch y'all in the next one.